tonight, Indiana came out and made some plays at some very critical moments, and um, they gave them a chance to be very successful. Um, we had some opportunities early on to make shots. Their defense is designed to um, give you those open shots, and they make adjustments, and, and you know, we, we weren't able to knock them down. We have to do a better job of when we're not making jump shots of getting to the paint and, and drawing fouls. Um, you know, we shot 18 free throws. We got into the bonus early um, in that first half area and, and, and didn't continue to attack the way that we needed to. Um, but, you know, all in all, you know, we got some quality looks. They didn't fall. You have to credit their defense. Um, and then, you know, we've got to come in here tomorrow. We've got to have a, a good mental day of practice and get prepared for another talented team that's the beauty of this league. You know, we've got another top 10 team coming in on Tuesday, and um, we've got to have a short memory, get prepared to go out and um, have a, a great night. Get the number one business phone system as ranked by U.S. News and World Report. Nextiva by Viner Forgates. Saves you money while delivering higher ROI, getting you the best product for your business. Communicate better today at home or from the office with Nextiva by Viner Forgates. Visit us at vinerforgates.com slash VOIP or call 877-797-8776. At what point do you feel like it became more of settling for jump shots, do you think, than do you think that occurred basically at some, at some point in this game? Well, I, th I think when you're not making shots, there are a lot of different things that you can say. Um, you know, so we have guys that we feel very comfortable shooting the basketball. And tonight just wasn't our night in regards to making shots. I still want our guys to be aggressive, ready on the catch, and if time score momentum dictates you taking that shot, take it. But you also have to have a little bit of feel for it, knowing that if you miss one or two, um, maybe another drive to a kick out to another drive, try to draw a foul or, or get a little bit closer. Um, but, you know, all in all, it's you have to be ready to shoot the basketball when you're open. And, um, you know, we got some looks, like I said, we just weren't able to cash them in tonight. And one other thing with, with Fats, um, did your athletic trainer give you an update on him, or was it a hand? No, I mean, after the, before the game came out, he came back out. I saw the ice bag on his hand, on his wrist area. When I went out there to look at him, that's, he was holding his hand, wrist. Um, you know, we'll have a better evaluation at some point tomorrow and kind of go from there. Hi, hey, Coach. Just going off of, just talking, could you talk about, like, what, Indi what Indiana was doing on Fats and Eric in particular, that got him off a of rhythm, or we just, based, like you were saying, shots is not falling? Well, I think whenever someone, you know, when you struggle from the field in terms of not shooting a great percentage, you have to give the defense somewhat, some of the credit. Um, but, but it was just one of those nights where you have opportunities to, to score the basketball and it doesn't go in. And, um, you, you know, you're going to have nights like that. You're going to miss far more shots than you make if you play this game long enough. And we just have to figure out a different way of um, when shots aren't falling, getting to the free throw line or getting someone else a, a different type of look. But you also have to understand that when you catch the basketball and you're in your rhythm, you know, whether you're making shots or not, you have to be ready on the catch to shoot the basketball. And I'd much rather guys um, shoot open shots than hesitant and not. As you were kind of talking about with those long shots, with the three-pointers, the, three you know, it was like the second or third most the team's taken all season. Um, was that something after the success you saw on Tuesday that you were hoping to see more of? Obviously, they didn't fall, but were you hoping that they would find, you know, find more of those shots today? No, you go into each ball game and you take the shots that are dictated by the defense. And, and the defense dictated that we take some threes early on and, and we didn't make them. And then they stayed compact with their defensive um, principles and wanted us to continue to shoot them. And, you know, it's... I'm glad the guys still have confidence in shooting the basketball. I want them to be confident. I want them to be aggressive. But, you know, there's also another fine line of, you know what, I need to get put my head down and get to the free throw line. Uh, Coach, um, Eric's, uh, Eric was uh, 0 for 4 in the second half. Um, down the stretch, didn't really get any call. He looks at me. How can you kind of get him going um, in those key moments when you guys kind of need a basket there? Well, the offense didn't change today. You know what I mean? I mean, it was just one of those nights where shots didn't fall. You know, he had opportunities. A lot of guys had opportunities. It's just we, we struggled from the field today shooting the basketball. Danny, uh, 
Dante's had a couple games where it's been a little out of sorts a bit, I think, after that Illinois game. What, what have you seen from him over the last couple games and tonight in particular that, that stands out that, that maybe he's a little off? You know, well, the last game that we played at Rutgers, Dante um, wasn't his night offensively, but he, he led us in energy generating behaviors that game. And, um, you know, that's what we need from Dante. We need more, you know, those energy generating behaviors and his size, his skill set across the board to have an impact on the game. And, um, you know, today offensively, just not a good game for a lot of guys scoring the basketball. And when that happens, we have to be a lot better defensively. Then we have to be a lot better in taking care of the basketball as well. Danny, uh, inside, they I think they had 36 points in the paint, 22 in the first half. Thompson, Jackson, Davis, what was the biggest challenge uh, trying to contain those guys? Well, you know, going into the ball game, um, Trace Jackson Davis is a handful. He's one of the better bigs in the country. And, um, you know, you want to try to make his catches difficult. You want to push him off. You know, we had some different coverages that um, didn't work well enough tonight, whether it was trapping from a spot or trapping off of a player. And then we have to do a better job of contesting his shots as well. Um, but, you know, he's a talented basketball player. And, um, you know, he was very efficient with his touches tonight. Okay, thanks, Coach.
network solutions, managed IT, and technical support, Viner Forgates makes your company work. Solutions to protect your business from WatchGuard, including firewalls and endpoint protection. Protect your company and make your company work with solutions from Viner Forgates.